Another interesting thing that I'm testing today is this ignition system. It is very aggressive. I think that it'll probably f cause some flaring up, uh, depending on how aggressive this smoke composition is. But the this system is it's just a wire matrix, right? Rolled up wire mesh screen. And then there's an American Visco fuse coming down the center, wrapping around this thing and stopping there. And then on this fuse is the M83 starter mixture. <clears throat> the formula for this yellow smoke composition is right here. And the formula for this starter mixture is right here. Now this starter mixture is what the M83 screen now used. That's a TPA-based TPA smoke, terephilic acid. It was originally a training aid, which was to replace the frequency of use of the HC smokes the military was using. Uh, they replaced them with a terephilic acid-based smoke, which is exponentially safer. Now, the this, yeah, I'm predicting that this igniter might be a little bit aggressive, but I was thinking, like, what if what if we were able to ignite the entire internal core of these devices at, you know at once essentially i feel like it would initiate a lot faster and then this wire screen to protect the lumen or the opening i guess of the i should say lumen is the space inside of a vessel right inside of a cylindrical or tubular vessel so the wire mesh will prevent the ash from coming in and occluding the central core which in the in the event that that does occur you get some discoloration of the dispersed dye so it what when it when the dye when the powder dye has to run through a matrix it loses some of its color it doesn't become as brilliant and also i mean yeah the particulates filtered out so it's not as you know potent essentially in terms of color and yeah i just wanted to ignite the whole inside of the core now this is not the fastest burning visco uh so it might take a little bit still to start um but uh yeah so first thing i'm going to do is drill this out with a this five eighths seven eighths wow okay that's aggressive i'm going to drill this with a seven eight seven eighths inch. I'm just drilling through the the, the top epoxy layer. All right, so that's that layer. I'm just drilling this at first with a smaller bit, Forstner bit, because I don't want this hole to be larger than necessary to accommodate that. But I'm not quite sure if this is going to be too smaller. This is going to be the right size. Now I haven't yet figured out the ideal structure of this device. Um, it really does make all of the difference. Damn, that's a lot of material. Uh, let's see here. So I figure... It's gonna be tight. Damn, no, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to go big. All right. Put this in here, and now it's loosey goosey, of course. Um, put that flush. What should I put over this? A. Should I do this? You know what? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to do this pull string igniter. Pull string igniter for life. I'm going to do. Let me just.
All right, cool. This is ready to go. Obviously, the finished product or the finished device is going to be, you know, covered up and such. And, uh, you know, the wire mesh, the screen here is going to not be such a loosey goosey. Okie dokie. That's a winner. Holy crap. That's awesome. Oh my god. Wow. expecting that that was incredible holy crap